So I have intentionally used data sets that have a small number of data rows just for us to be able to see how all of these things work out. But you need to know that this data quality or data preview or data exploration options that we have looked at get their values from the first 1000 rows of the data alone. So for example, if you bring in a data set that has 2000 rows and you don't have any empty value until row 1000 and something, then your column quality is still going to display 100% valid because this 100% valid will look at the first 1000 rows of your data alone and not the entire data set. Don't be disappointed about that because if you need these options to scan the entire data set, all you will have to do is come over here to the bottom of your Power Query where you are going to see that inscription that says column profiling based on the top 1000 rows and you are going to click on that writing and change that to column profiling based on entire data set. Once you do that, each option both column quality, column distribution, and column profile will now be calculated or will now scan the entire data set to get the values that you need for exploring your data.